Hello friends, uh, this is tutorial number 50 in this C++ programming language tutorials. In this tutorial we will create application. Uh, in the previous tutorial we have, uh, we have a, a car which was a struct and in this application we will create uh, apartment uh, which will be uh, which will be a class we, which will be an object and we want to create couple of apartments uh, it will have own fields so I don't know uh, area rooms uh, floor elevator and we want to compare these uh, these apartments but in this case it will be object and now first thing that we need to do it will be uh, we will create one class file new class we will not have a destructor class name will be apartment we will click here create the new class uh, has been created do you want to add it to the current project we will click yes okay and our class apartment is created uh, first thing that we need to do uh, here in the CPP we need to include uh, IO stream we will paste it here and this using name using namespace std uh, we will copy to both this apartment.age and apartment cpp we will paste it here and also we will paste it here and here in the main we want to include with double quotes apartment.h now what we want to do uh, this uh, this class of apartment uh, it needs to have couple of uh, fields and of course in this application uh, we will uh, we will compare with struct we will see uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, of these two but let's create we need we don't need protected fields we will have private he, uh, private fields here and uh, let's start first uh, it, we will have string which will be city We will create one integer and it will be area. We need the rooms. It will be float. Room. Integer. Floor. And we also can have integer which will be floors of the building we will not have uh, uh, we will not have a uh, field uh, price but we have area we can have integer price per square meter this will be interesting and we we can create a uh, elevator and it can be boolean or bull uh, elevator uh, 
we have three, six, seven fields. And we can create one more field which will be a float and it will be a distance from city center. Distance from city center. Okay, we have eight fields and these fields will be private. By default, uh, all these fields of an object uh, needs to be private. By default, okay. And we can, of course, uh, make it public, but I don't know, it's, it's by default and we can uh, do anything about that. And as a, as a, we in the public we can create a couple of functions. First, let's we will create one uh, function void, and it will be apartment apartment scan. And now we can create a constructor and we have we have eight fields here and we will create a constructor we need to uh, to use these types and let's start with string and the name can be we will we will use n n1 now we have integer, will it will be integer and two. We have a float which will be n three, and we have integer and four. We have another integer will be n five. One more integer will be n6 we have a bool which will be n7 and float which will be n8 we created our constructor and here now here in the CPP we can create we will define we will define our constructor, we can delete this comment and here we can, uh, we can, we will just copy this inside the bracket, this local variables, we will use edit copy and here we will paste it. Okay, we paste these uh, local variables and here in the body we will define it. And let me see the fields. We will start from 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 city. City will be equals to n1 because city is the string which will be this a local variable n1 now we have area will be n2 a room will be n3 the next field is floor floor will be n4 now we have floors floors of the building which is integer will be n5 the next field is price per square meter will be equals to n6 
and we have elevator which will be N7 and we have a field distance distance from city center which is float and it will be an 8 and we now we defined our constructor and here now we have this uh, function apartment scan uh, we need to define it here we need it's a void function and it's apartment now we need two dots and apartment scan now we need a body and inside this body we need to uh, uh, we need to define this function it will be apartment scan uh, we will use this uh, this field to display all uh, all data of the of the object apartment and uh, let's start from the first field We will use C out and it will be city and we need a variable city. Now we need we have area. Now next field is room and we need a variable room. These all variables are private. We define it as private. Okay now the next will be floor. And we need the variable floor. The next will be floors of the building. And variable floors of the building the next will be price per square meter and the variable price per square Second price per square meter and now we have elevator. And we can, uh, we need, we have an elevator, which is bull. It can be true or false. Now, if it's true, we want to print uh, yes. And if elevator is false, we want to print no. First, we, win, we need to print elevator. And we will not use end line. And now here 
we will use control statement if and we will use a variable elevator if equals to true we will print yes and we will use and line okay elevator if it's true uh, yes will be printed and we will have else statement and it will be false and uh, it will be uh, it will be false and we will print no and end line and we need to to print distance from uh, the city center distance from the city center and we will use variable distance distance from city center and we will use end line and it will be it will be done we created our variable our uh, our function sorry uh, it will be apartment scan it will be it will be a field when we have some apartment with this field uh, this is a public this uh, this function is public with this with this uh, function apartment scan we will display all of the data of of the object apartment and now in the main method we need we need to create apartment and uh, let's start apartment we will call it a1 and we have a constructor which is string integer okay i need to see fields okay uh city and which is string and area integer city is a string will be budapest and area which is integer will be 70. okay the next should be a room a room which is float it can be it can be apartment with three rooms it is a float but it will be three rooms now the next will be floor and floors of the building floor can be first floor and floors of the building can be five this is a, a building with five floors the next uh, the next field is price per square meter will be 1200 elevator we will we will put uh, elevator false because this this building is not to be just it has uh, five floors doesn't have uh, doesn't have elevator and we have the last field should be distance from city center okay it will be close to the center 0 0.8 and this is our apartment and we will create uh, four apartments let me use I will use copy and I will paste three times ok 
Okay, let's change. Second apartment A2, A3, and A4 will be fourth apartment. Now we need to uh, to change these values. Apartment number two will be in Belgrade. It will be a little bigger, 80. Area will be 80 square meters. Rooms will be 3.5. It will have one uh, more a little uh, room. And floor will be third three third floor this building this is build, uh, building building uh, with uh, with four floors price will be 1000 1000 per square meter uh, elevator will be false and distance from center will be 2.2.1 and let's create third apartment will be in Warsaw. It can be 70. Uh, three will be uh, room will be three. And floor we will put uh, nine. Floors of the building will be 12. Price per square meter will be. 1500 this is uh, this is a building with uh, more floors uh, it will be true it will have elevator and distance from a uh, city center will be 1.5 okay we define third apartment and let's create the fourth will be in sofia it will be Area will be 60, room will be 2.5, floor will be uh, 16, this is a building with 20 floors, a big building and price it will be, it will be cheaper, 8, 800 per uh, uh, square meter, uh, this is, uh, this is a a building with uh, more floors will be true, elevator will be true, and distance from city center will be, I don't know, 2.4. Okay, we created, uh, we created uh, four apartments. Now what we want to do, uh, we want to put these uh, apartments into the vector we need to include include vector from the library and uh, let's create vector vector of uh, apartment The name of the vector will be apartments. It will be apartments. And maybe it's a better... We will put apartments vector. It will be the name of this vector. Of course, you can give it another name of li or list of apartments. This is the name of our vector. Apartment ve apartments vector. And we need to put all of these uh, apartments into this vector. And let's do it. Apartment, apartments vector. We need to push back uh, A1, first apartment. And let's copy this. And let's paste it. And 
let's change the values apartment 2 apartment 3 and apartment 4 now we put all of these apartments inside this vector apartments vector it will be uh, we need to put them in the vector and uh, inside when they are inside the vector we can compare it we will want to find the, the cheapest the most expensive uh, closest to the center we will want to find different type uh, of apartments and now how we gonna do that uh, we need to create one menu and we will need uh, we will need uh, one variable integer will be we can put x y or we can put entry I will use entry and let us create the menu it will be select one of the options But before, just before we create, we want to see, let's try to, we can use, for example, a one dot apartment scan. We can try to see if uh, everything will work fine. If we have some error, let's use build and run to see if this will gonna work properly okay uh here is a city uh, this is the first apartment city budapest area is 70 uh room uh three rooms first floor floors of the building is five price per square meter is 1200 no elevator and distance from city center 0.a which is uh good now let me see here okay unused variable entry okay this is normal we will use it now and let's uncomment this this apartment scan we will not need it and let's uh, let's create our menu first option will be uh, display Oh, we want to, to, to see all apartments in the vector and let's create second option we'll have more options here second option we want to find the cheapest and here it is better it will be better to see uh, to write display all apartments and line third option will be the most expensive fourth option will be uh, the lowest floor or we have we have filled the room it will be number five the lowest floor We have a field room which will be option number four or we could type uh, rooms with uh, another option number six seven it doesn't matter but okay we have uh, we want to uh, three room three rooms apartment 
Okay, we want apartment with three rooms. Now, option number six. We want to find the lowest building. have option number seven which will be the highest building and now option number eight will be uh, without without elevator Option number nine will be with elevator. And let's create one more option. It will, we want just to find option number 10 will be, uh, we want to find uh, nearest to the city center okay we we have these 10 options and we will not uh, we will not put it inside the loop we just want to to see this menu and it will be better just here when we have this square uh, select one of the options we will need a little space one empty string and for because we have 10 options uh, we need to switch but we need to switch entry first we will need to input this entry and we need to switch it switch entry entry needs to be inside the bracket and let us switch it we have case one and we will use break this and copy and I deleted now I need to paste it couple of times I will paste it now three times uh, let, and let us format this code a little source code formatter okay we have uh, case and break three times let's copy and I will let's paste it we have now six we have nine options okay uh, let's uh, let's format this code again Okay, uh, let's change it to number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, eight, nine. Okay, uh, we will create manually case number ten and break. And we will create a default which will be with uh, message uh, C out if we type number that uh, 
some number or negative or zero or greater than 10 we will just write the message uh, that entry and we will write try again and line and we will use break now let's format this code okay now it's good and of course we can we can just format this here also we can use a source code formatter okay and also we can format here now it's better and let us just let's just try to to run this application and where was the error okay we forgot semicolon here where we created entry now let's try again and where's the problem now we have okay here expected okay we forgot uh, two dots now let's try again build and run okay we have uh, we have this question select one of the options we will type uh, zero bad entry try again and let's try again number 11 bad entry try again okay we just uh, we can try the default options because we didn't the, we have these 10 options but uh, we didn't define them and okay this tutorial was 37 minutes we created uh, we created this uh, this class apartments we and we created a couple of objects uh, we put them in the vector we create this menu and we will continue in the next tutorial we will st start creating uh, defining these uh, these options okay and I really hope that you like this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram you have a link in the description and I will see you in the next tutorial we will continue with this application